Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be covering using the uh, paint controls to actually paint your ships. And also we're going to be touching on using the symmetry tool. Now the symmetry tool is only available in creative mode. But we'll get to that in a moment here. So what we have here is our basic ship. Uh, of course, you're going to have a gray by default. Let's say you've built your ship. You want to go ahead and start painting it now. What you'll do is you'll hit your P menu. That'll bring up this grid here where you've got a number of preset colors. And you've got a hue, saturation, and value based system to go ahead and select or customize any color. Now, anything you change up here will take effect in the square that is highlighted. So basically, we select this one. And we can go with a darker black. Now if we hit cancel, it'll close out, we can open it back up, and it defaults back to that. But if we hit OK, that's the color that's going to be for now on. Of course we can always hit default and go back to the original. In this case we're not going to because we have a custom color already on here. Since I didn't want to have to waste time setting that up. Now unfortunately the control click does not work on the sliders and the color menu. So you do have to deal with the uh, unfortunate need to use the slider itself, which is not 100% accurate. It's hard to get certain numbers on there. So it's a uh, hit or miss to get the exact color you want, but you can get very close to it. So, now you've got that. You've got your basic colors. You know how to set a default. You know how to make a custom color. So we're going to take our custom color and we want to paint the whole body this particular blue here. Now we can go through and just use the middle mouse button and paint each square one by one. Or we can hold down shift and hit the middle mouse button and paint a 4x4x4 four by four by four area. That doesn't mean that it also goes four blocks deep, not just the surface area. And the color that you have selected currently. Now this makes it real easy to paint large areas or basically just to do your base coat. Now you can hold down the middle mouse button to do a single row or holding down shift and then holding down the middle mouse button it will drag it across like a broad paintbrush and cover everything like we just did. Get you there. Okay, so we've got our base coat down. Now we want to do, let's say we want to do a red stripe here. Now again we can do our single blocks. We don't want to do a broad paintbrush because we're just doing a stripe. This one row all the way around the ship. So, that looks like it's going to take forever, right? That's where our symmetry tool comes in in creative mode. Now again, only in creative mode do you have access to the symmetry tool. Now to use it, you will hit M on your keyboard, and you're going to get something like this. I actually have my other panes up, so let me remove them. Alright, so you're going to see the red one here. Ignore the blue one for now. <laughs> in fact, I'll go ahead and just remove that for us. Alright, so here we are. We are on the red one. The first set position for any of the three colors. Each color is for a different axis, of course. So our red here centered on this one row. That means if you're doing an odd shape item, you're going to want to center it on the uh, well, center row, of course. Now this works not just for painting, but also for building. So we place that. We hit escape to exit out of it. And we hit the end key to bring it back up so you can visibly see it. Now you'll see how there's two blocks floating around now. That means if I click here, well obviously not with the particular ship design, but if I click there, okay. There we go. Now you'll see that there's two actual blocks. Now you have three different panes, so you can do three different ones which it is going to mirror across each pane. So when we go back into our symmetry mode and we switch to the blue and we place this one here and escape, you're going to see four blocks, not two. Well, obviously, because those can't connect, but you get the idea. Okay, so we will go ahead and remove the red one there. Now, you saw that there was two different ones for each color. The first is centered, 
the next one is offset. So if you're building or painting on an even set number across that axis, you want the offset so you can put it in between the center rows. And that principle applies across all axes. Now once you finish with both the blues, the last one automatically closes it out so that you don't have to worry about hitting escape. So now we can go ahead and we can go through like this. We'll just paint our stripe around. And don't worry if you make a few mistakes along the way. That's to be expected. And obviously in this case I can't get onto the engine without actually cutting the engine away. So there we've got our nice little red stripe going all the way around the ship. Now, let's say you have a item in the game that has a color that you like. And you want that color without having to sort through the menu and recreate it. You'll select a color slot that has a color you don't really care about. So we're going to go with this weird green here. And of course, pull up your block. Move over the color you want. Hold down your shift key and hit the P button. That'll just rip that color right off of there. So when we go back into the menu, that block now has that color in it. Of course, we're setting the default, gets rid of it all, but basically, that way if you need to reset the default and you need to get that one color you really liked, you've got that block that has that color, you can just go and select which slot you want to put it over and just extract it that way makes it real easy to get paints that you've lost or say you download something from the workshop has a nice paint scheme that you like and you want to get it yeah easiest way to do it alright I hope that was helpful for you guys and as always have a good day